Hi friends, welcome back and happy new year. Hope everyone's year is off to a wonderful and great start. Sorry for not being able to post as much in the last month or so. It's because I have been vacationing here in my birth country, India. So I have been extremely busy. But I finally found some time to do a quick video. I will be returning back to the US next week. So I will definitely be posting more often as we move forward. But in this video, I want to talk about the final and third phase of Sade Sati for my Makar Rashi Capricorn Moon sign friends and how this final phase is going to completely transform your life for the better and going to take you in a much more positive direction than the last five years. Because the first phase of Sade Sati is extremely tough as Saturn is placed in the 12th house of loss and expenses. It is the Dustana, an evil house. And when it was placed in your first house over the natal moon for the last two and a half years, that is another challenging placement because it can really slow down things. It can bring tension, anxiety, fear, depression, and then it also aspects the 3rd, 7th and 10th. It could have brought conflict in the relationship between siblings. Your communication skills could have been taken in the wrong way and could have led to some misunderstandings. Short distance journeys might not have been beneficial. The aspect on the 7th could have created problems in your married life. There could have been a lot of delays in the marriage of single people. Those people who were already married, there could have been a lot of conflicts which might have led to even divorces. Business partnerships could have broken. You could have been deceived by your business partner. Or if you had started a new business, then it could have not gone the way you planned it. The revenues might not have been there and you could have actually faced losses. The aspect on the 10th, your career might have been affected in a negative way in the last two and a half years. You might have not got the growth that you expected. You might not have got a salary increment, a bonus, a promotion for your hard work and effort. You could have had a hard time getting along with your bosses, co-workers, colleagues. So as you can see, when Saturn was aspecting these three important houses, it could have really slowed down your life in a lot of ways. But finally, Saturn will now enter its Mool Trikona sign Aquarius, Kumbarashi from Jan 17, 2023 onwards and it will stay there till March 29, 2025. So this is going to be the best time of your life because first of all, Saturn is the ruler of your sign. It is the ruler of your ascendant and it is also the lord of your Dhanasthan, the second house of wealth, bank balance, savings. So naturally, now that Saturn will be extremely well placed in its Mool Trikona, it will start to slowly increase your bank balance, your wealth, your savings, all the losses that you faced in the past. Now slowly, they will be replaced by profit. You will start to make good money in your business activities. Your married life will now get smoother those single people who wanted to get married for a long time, finally, the wedding bells might start ringing. You might be able to find a comparable partner and finally get married. Your long-term wishes, desires will slowly become reality. If there were any conflicts in your relationship with your siblings, slowly those might fade away. Some people might think of starting a new business 
and that business might go a long way because Saturn is a planet of long term stability and permanence. If you are in a business partnership, then your business partner will now be more supportive of you. They will be more understanding of your ideas. In the second house, Saturn's position might also help to bring a reunion with your family members that you might have not met for a long time. Then it will aspect the fourth house and it can create a strong property yoga, which means buying and selling of property, land, vehicles. But you still have to be a bit careful and do not blindly sign any documents without properly reading those. So do not rush into anything and only make a major decision after doing proper due diligence, research and careful analysis. Also the aspect on the fourth house will make students studying primary education such as bachelors or high school to put in a lot of hard work and effort so that they can achieve excellent academic progress. From the second house Saturn will directly aspect your eighth house and that will basically increase your interest in occult science, investigation field. If you are in a research field, then you will largely excel. Just be slightly careful of any chronic health issues that you might be facing and do not ignore such health issues if something was to bother you. Then the final aspect of Saturn will be on your 11th house and that will fall on the Labasthan. So this is extremely auspicious because the ruler of your Dhanasthan, the second house of wealth, will aspect your Labasthan, the house of gains from multiple sources of income. So naturally you will start to see wealth coming in from all directions. Your past investments might start to pay off now. Your long term desires, wishes, goals, ambitions will slowly start getting fulfilled. You will get cooperation from your social network. You might meet important people and make some influential contacts which might help you in the long run. Your relationship with your elder siblings will become very harmonious. You will start to excel in your career. If you had felt stagnant, now slowly things will start to take a much more positive direction. Your bosses and co-workers will appreciate your hard work and effort and there is a chance you might get a bonus, a salary increment or a promotion that might be long overdue. If you don't have a job and you have been looking for a job for a long time, I highly recommend do not give up. Keep applying and give lots and lots of interviews because there is a good chance you might finally land a new job with a decent salary and benefits package. Some people might also get a job in their dream company because Saturn will now strongly activate the money houses. It will aspect your house of desires, wishes, wish fulfillment and you have to remember it is the lord of your lagna. It is the most important planet for you and it always wants the best for you. Even though it delays, it never denies because Saturn is a planet of justice. It is a planet of karma, discipline. So all you need to do is lead a disciplined life. Do not take any major risks. Only take any important decisions after consulting with your trusted people, talking with family members, doing proper research, careful analysis and then make any decision whether it is related to getting married, starting a business, maybe investing in something, buying a new house, selling a house, buying a new vehicle, maybe relocating to a different country. Think properly, do not rush into anything. 
because saturn is a very slow moving planet it is the slowest moving planet so it appreciates when we carefully plan out things and then take a decision but basically i wanted to do this video to give you an idea of how much of a golden time is coming ahead for you because i know the last 5 years might have been truly a testing and miserable time a very challenging period because saturn's transit over the 12th and the 1st house is never a easy time even for makar rashi even for capricorn which is saturn's own sign it is not an easy period because saturn will put each and every individual through a testing time and once you pass the hard phase saturn will give you all the gifts the dreams that you desire in the third and final phase of sade sati which will be active from jan 17 2023 to march 29 2025 so put this time to good use study hard work hard in your job business find a good partner get married study hard and get good grades in your education work hard in your career so that you can grow because this time that is coming is going to be in your favor so it is now up to you to make the best use of it to wisely you use this time to achieve your dreams so my friends this is the message that i wanted to give you is that you have a golden period coming up so use it wisely and you can achieve all your dreams desires and ambitions one remedy for sade sati in my opinion which is the best remedy is always reciting the hanuman chalisa so if you recite the hanuman chalisa this third and final phase of sade sati will be even better for you so i wish you all the very best and i hope you have a wonderful year ahead and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching namaskar